Hey everybody, it's A. John. It's March 29, 2021, and I covered Dogecoin cryptocurrency videos, and I co also covered the Dogecoin um, technical analysis, the news and the analysis. And in this video today, I'll be covering the Dogecoin, the Dogecoin technical analysis. Before we get to all that, I need you to do me a huge favor and tap the subscribe button and tap the like button so we can share this video with more people so we can grow the Dogecoin community together. You came for the Dogecoin sticks? Let's get to it, all right? March 29, 2021, <clears throat> the daily today, we can see it's green, which is great, but at the same token, we're seeing the high of 548 and the low of 531, so it's kind of, it's kind of wishy-washy day, we're not seeing a solid bar, it's kind of like a, it's, it's pretty much like a, a thimble, so that tells me that um, there's a lot of indecision here, based on that stick real quick, all right, let's close out some of these, um, these lines here, so we can get a better view of what it looks like. Let's make it a little bigger. So, okay. So you can see that we're kind of trending down now, right? For the past three days. So, uh, you know, you know, for, um, since uh, March 20 <clears throat> up to about March 24, where the long-legged doji appeared, and then we had a reversal, <clears throat> right? And now we're kind of waiting for confirmation, but usually I say confirmation is about five or, five or six sticks. So in this case here, since, since it's a daily chart, It'll be about five to six candlesticks right here, right? So, so far, we are kind of trending back up, but we're also coming back down. So, it's a little wishy-washy for now. And that's okay, because we don't we don't really have any um, true drivers where someone's ready to dump in a ton of money, right? So, we're kind of like in limbo right now, which is kind of what you expect by, by seeing this chart here. However, however, we can see the 50 MA. It's starting to trend down, though. So, that, that could be a little problem, though. Um, since it's coming down, the 50 MA is starting to trend down like this right here, right? The other day it was kind of more flat. Now it's curling downwards. You can see that. So that isn't necessarily what you want to see. However, on a 200 MA, it's still strong. Same trajectory, same velocity, still pointing up, right? It's going at about a 0.02, oh, sorry, a 0 .00, wait, 0 0.0002 um, velocity here. So it's a little slow, but the point that it's trending up though, okay? Yesterday was one... 1927 today is 1952 um, so increase about you know about about a point zero zero three around there so that is necessarily a bad thing that's a good thing because the 200 ma the long-term trend is super bullish okay until we see that kind of come down then we have a problem but until then i'm not even, I'm, not, I'm not even concerned this is, this is, for me this is a, this is a solid investment and i'm just gonna be buying a dips until you know, <laughs> until we get to the moon, ladies and gentlemen, the moon, okay? <laughs> um, so the MACD today, you can see as well. Let me make it a little bigger so it's easier to see, just to get a better perspective here. Um, okay. So we are trending up, as you can see, right? One, two, three, four, five. But you can see the trend is, is, is pretty slow, right? It's a 0 0.07, then it, now it's 0 0.006, obviously negative. But you see the 12 MA starting to pierce into the bearish territory. You see right here where my where my, mouth, where my mouse cursor is at. It, uh, the, the 12 MA for the first time in uh, let's see how many days it's been. Um, oh, all right, let's see. All right, I would say for the first time in about 102 days, basically three months, where it actually went below. Um, the negative here so <clears throat> that isn't necessarily what you want to see by the same token it's a pretty slow trajectory and the fact that the, the daily is kind of trending up with another six here and it's kind of meeting up the, the um, 12 ma so this tells me that if we continue if we continue this current trend for a few more days we will start kind of flattening out and kind of going back up slowly but surely here <coughs> But you see also the, on the 26 moving average, it's straight down. Like, so I guess on a short term, long term, it's definitely down. And, but, 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 but the important, the important thing to note here is that, um, the divergence between the 26 MA and the 12 MA, it's, um, it's, it's, let's see what it looks like actually. All right. Let's see 1000. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, you know what? It's hard to measure here, but we can see that the, the um, divergence is is shrinking. It's not as large as it was on uh, March twenty uh, fourth, 
and uh 25th so they are kind of so basically what, what that means is a 12-day moving average and a 26 moving average the, the 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 gap between the two are closing up they're getting closer obviously it's hard to see here because it's so slow but if you look closely <clears throat> and actually stare at it you can see that it is closing um so that's so that's, so that's good but again we don't want to see it close you know below the i would call the, the um, bullish quadrant you know we, you know, we, we want to stay around here to continue our bull trend. <clears throat> and, and we shall see in the future days to come. Um, so that being said there, as you can see, you know, I mentioned it in my previous prediction videos and uh, um, big breakout video, kind of explaining to you what the possible uh, possible um, scenarios are. So currently we are still trading in the range of a 525 up to about 583. Uh, that's kind of um, the, the trading range as of the moment here. And we're currently about 542, so that's kind of in between, right? So <clears throat> isn't necessarily somewhere, um, the, the, the risk reward isn't very high. You know, you, you want to buy somewhere around 525 and, and, and do a swing trade up to about 58. However, we are seeing weakness <clears throat> in the trade due to the low volume right here, right? Uh, March 27, 34 million volume. March 26th, uh, uh, I'll say 50 million, right? Uh, March 25th, I'll say 50 also as well, you know? On March 24th, we saw 104, 105 million, and that's kind of when we saw the, the long-legged doji, so that's kind of, kind of signaling a reversal here. But I'm not seeing the volume continue to kind of push it as well. So um, it's, it's, it's a little uh, hard to say at the moment because usually volume is, you know, the money, that, that kind of tells you where everything is going here. So we're going to need some people with bigger pockets here, digging deep and buying some, if we were to continue this trend, in my opinion here, just based on the, the, the also the volume metric. But we are still bullish, though, in a sense, where we're at 50 MA over at 200 MA. <clears throat> it is, however, um, um, diverging and, and converging closer together. So that just means that, you know, what, what, oh. <clears throat> sorry about that, pardon. That just means that, you know, um, if this continues, we may see a bearish a bearish cross, but that'll be for weeks to come or even months before we see that, given how long this um this this chart is right here, <clears throat> and given that and given that it's a daily chart, it, it, it'll take a while to get there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the four chart here and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're in a four chart now. Okay, I'm gonna give this quick there's a little squiggly line. There's a little squiggly line here I did a few days ago to kind of demonstrate demonstrate where it was going short term. All right, so on the forward chart here, this is, actually looks quite bullish to me. And I'll explain why. Because the, the previous day <clears throat> on March, well, previous days ago, on March 25th, right here, right? You saw it kind of come back up, and that's kind of when we saw the um the price appreciation. And you see the MACD kind of trading back down right here, right? On the bullish quadrant, you know. This is this is the area where I call the the, the um the bearish quadrant or the bears, you know. However, what I what I what I expected to happen was something like this for the most part. So I'll draw it again. Uh, one second. So based on what I was seeing on, on, on the trends and everything, I was expecting something like something like this to happen. Um kind of going like this, coming back coming back down and kind of doing this for the most part. However, <clears throat> However, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and make it bigger. And you can see that um, even though it is I'm not doing what I expected to do, which is totally fine. It doesn't always happen that way. But you can see that when it keep, when it rised up, if, I'm, if you saw my cursor, it went up here. And then it went back down. It, it, um, the, the 12 MA and, and the 26 MA started converging right here, right? And it was getting closer about, about, the tap and, and, about the tap and probably go down. You saw my cursor here, right? However, what happened was instead of going back down, um, there was more buying pressure to start a new bullish trend here, and it's continuing still. So this tells me that the, the, the bulls are really trying hard here to break back into the bullish quadrant here on a four-hour chart. <clears throat> and if this continues for, for I would say, you know, probably another day or two, I, I'm going to say we are going to be in the um, bullish quadrant for some time, you know, maybe the next like uh, 12 days or something. But however, <clears throat> once even when we get there, right, we still wait for a few more days for it to confirm because once we get there, you know, once you once you're in the, the bullish quadrant, right, it's it, and obviously we haven't pulled back enough to kind of reset anything. So maybe the bulls get tired and we come back down again. So 
it'll be one of those uh, tricky trades right there. But, you know, as always, if you're investing, it doesn't matter too much. So basically, if this happens, we see if we see something like this, it may go up the run here and it'll come back down and possibly break through into bearish territory again. Or it'll kind of break down. Or, or it could do something possibly like this where, where it breaks down. Right, it kind of come, come back up and it breaks down back to back to what I call the zero equilibrium. Kind of tap it a little bit and come back up as well. And that happens. If this happens, then we're definitely going going to be in the new bullish territory and a new and a new and a new uh, four hour a bullish ride there. That's pretty good because usually four hour is kind of indicative of, of the days, um, the, the day chart here. So <clears throat> if that happens. Based on what I drew before, we will be testing 583 again sooner rather than later in the coming days, even possibly this week, if it continues on this trajectory here. But of course, when it gets on 583, you may want to short just because um, the current trend is just trading in the range for the most part. And if it does break through 583, we know 63 is going to be the next resistance for the most part. So. <clears throat> so that being said, there uh, the 4-hour chart is definitely looking bullish here. and But... To note, and and the reason why I don't think it will happen, possibly is because we have a contradictory signal where you see the 200 MA over the 50 MA, so it's looking kind of bearish right now, and you can see the 200 MA on the four hour chart is literally being resist re being resistant. Basically, it, it tapped about four times in the past 16 hours right here, right? So on March 29 at one at one 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 a.m. in the morning, up to about now, about 16 hours later, it's still tapping each time and and, and, and it bounces down. <clears throat> and you see the 50 MA as well. It's it's about five four one. So that's kind of acting as a as I would say a possible support. But as, as this continues, that the 50 MA will, will still continue down as well on the current trend here. And and, and the 200 MA is starting to tr is starting to curl down as well. So that could be bearish based on that right there. So this actually actually this forward chart here on, on for the MACD what I showed you before. It may or may not happen because you're seeing a bunch of contradictory signals here. It's a lot of indecision here. But based on what I showed you, <clears throat> you, you can kind of make it make it uh, a determined for yourself where you think it's going. Right? Obviously, obviously, as always, I always say with technical analysis, it's more of an art than a science here, and there's no guarantees. You know, you, you got to put the put together all the news and information together. But information, I mean that. Um, the data and the and the and the sticks right here to kind of you know get a gauge of where things are going here. <clears throat> so that being said, that's where I see it happen. <clears throat> that's why I see happening. Now going to the fifteen minute chart here to kind of briefly go through you know kind to kind of see where that's going. You can see on a fifteen minute chart, it's looking uh, I would say quite bullish overall because you see on the most recent uh, trend here, right? You're seeing right here. Um, on March 29, <clears throat> a bullish cross here, and it's trying to cross through here. So even though we're, we're seeing some weakness right here, right? And it's coming down toward, towards the bearish quadrant here, but with a 50 MA over a 200 MA short term, I believe today we're gonna end green, probably, probably around the high of around um, 548, around there, we may close around there today, <clears throat> based on seeing this um, charting right here. So again, with the golden cross there, I suspect um, that, that, that's, that's what will happen. And eventually the 200 MA, in a short term, so that, that could mean probably for the next few days, it's going to be support around 5.4. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now, based on the current um, price action right now. So with that being said, I will conclude the video for today. It's Hey John, do me a huge favor and help to help grow the, to help grow the Doge community and the family. Tap the subscribe button and tap the like button. It's super simple and super fast. I will catch you all on the next one.